all right so the first method is that we are going to be using photoshop all right so i'm going to click this image and i'm going to say open in photoshop like so so i have photoshop 2020 but i mean it will work with definitely any version of photoshop you've got installed so i'm going to click that right, so now this is the image we just uh, this is the camera raw image we just uh, opened in our photoshop software and as you can boldly see at the top okay this is the cr2 dot that's the dot cr2 extension now you can just go right ahead and do a little bit of tweaking on the image okay now this video is not about uh, photo retouching but um i think i'll do a video okay i'll do a dedicated video just on photo retouching okay so you, you can just go ahead and make whatever adjustments you want to make on the image and when you're done you go right ahead and you click open okay you click the open button right here okay so the next thing you're going to do right here is that you're going to go to where you have the at uh, the menu options at the top okay you're going to go down to where you have file and you're going to go to save as and then you're going to click the save as type right here you're going to click and you select jpeg uh jpeg yes you can give it the file a name okay i'm just going to save it at the deck on my desktop i can just say one and i go down to to save all right so this is how and then you can choose uh, to make your images very sharp or you can put them high medium or low okay but i think i just want to leave it at the maximum and then i go click ok so i'm going to go to my computer to locate the image we just saved okay so i think it's on our desktop and voila so as you can see right here this is the image we just saved from our photoshop and as it's clearly stated there it says dot jpg extension so this is the first method that you can use to convert your cr2 images to jpeg all right so the second method is that we're going to make use of our adobe lightroom okay now this method works for virtually any version of adobe lightroom okay so we're just going to go right ahead to import our images okay so i'm going to go to um the file i'm going to go to file and go down to where i have import photos and videos all right, so I'm going to go to please select a source. Then I come down to your my local drive uh, where I have the images. I go to users and I go to my folder right here. Go to pictures and yeah. So this is the this is the folder. This is the folder and double click. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, camera raw. Let me locate it. Uh, okay, camera raw. Okay, so these are the images we want to work on or we want to convert from camera raw to JPEG. Alright, so when you're done, um, you go down to the bottom right here where you have import and then you click it. Alright, so now that command will successfully load your images into your Adobe Lightroom as you can see right here. So if you want to retouch your images, you can go right ahead to where you have the develop tab right here and just do one or two adjustments but like i said this video is not about photo retouching so i'll do a separate video on how to retouch your images okay so when you can just do minor adjustments or just tweaking on the images so when you're done okay you, you're not going to export the images so you're going to first of all select control that's if, if you're using a windows pc okay control a to select all the images because we want to convert all the images okay then you go to where you have file and you go to export all right so a little dialog box will pop up now ensure that you select the location you want to export your images to so for me i want to just export them to my pictures folder and i would like to keep my images organized so i'm going to create a subfolder so i'm going to check this particular option and i can just create a folder from my lightroom interface so i can just say uh, converted pix pictures Converted pictures. All right, then you can give it a custom name. So um, I can just rename this as let's just say a. Or le okay, let me just leave that one. Okay, you can, but you can choose any notation you want. And then if you want to insert a watermark, you can, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and click export. All right, so you can see right here that the um, images have been exported. So now this is the process whereby you are converting from the camera raw to jpeg all right so as you can clearly see right here these are the images we just converted and right there it says um okay one dash one dot jpg okay so 
I mean, this is how you can convert your images from your camera raw to JPEG using both um, or either Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. Okay, so I'm sure you had value from this video. If you did, please give this video a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to this channel for more amazing graphic design and general internet tips, tricks, and tutorials. So, till I see you in my next video, it's bye for now.